Is that recording? Okay, we back on. All right. Let's see if I can find it. You know, I was gonna read something else on the authority, but running into this, this is probably important for those that are actually trying to find that some purity. So I think I'm gonna read that as well. You'd be surprised at how much actually works through condemnation and shame and guilt and blame. All of it is the same thing to try and keep you from the Lord. tried explaining this to one of my friends and he of course went on to that was that of faith and um, you know there, there is definitely one thing and that is uh Basically, a lot of our believing the Lord and having faith isn't actually a faith problem. It's usually a worthy problem, feeling worthy. I'm having a problem finding this at the moment. in most of this video so far looking for it. I might end up stopping this video and just erasing it, but oh, I do already give some important information. But anyways Anyways, here you go for you women and men out there. This is something, and you gotta understand, you were made to have sex, so get over it. Um, but here's a little bit of a problem that I know a lot of guys, they end up going out and they have this thing of where they end up dealing with this area where it's like women end up treating them like they're perverted and something's wrong with them and almost you got like 90% of the men walking out there ashamed what they have between their legs so anyways 
Our penis is not to dominate or dishonor women. It is holy and is for honoring our wives. When we don't rely on ourselves to sexually gratify ourselves and we rely on our wives and put our dependence in them for that solely, we honor our wives and we nurture her passion for us when she knows. We solely rely on her and her alone for it. Sex is not bad, it's the most pure holy act two people can do when done the way the Lord intended it. it that means a ring on the finger at that means letting your wives be enough to fill those needs and allowing the Lord to nail any self-dependence for sexual gratification to the cross and start only looking at your wives if you don't have one you honor your bride greatly and the gratefulness the Lord gets for the gift of a wife honors him this is something you have to ask the Lord for it's not easy it sucks but when you dump any pridefulness and agree and cooperate with the Lord you will truly have something to give your wife bride that will keep those passion embers blazing knowing you solely depend on her lets her know your mind is on her not a pornograph basically she is enough at that point um, and you know what the worst point is if you are sitting there sexually gratifying yourself spirits do come in and it does make a stronghold and um, well Let's put it another way. If you actually saw what a sex spirit was and what it looked like, you wouldn't be so turned on anymore. It looks like a giant nasty frog with an attitude, a horrible attitude to boot. And the thoughts that it, oh, you would be surprised at how many of those thoughts aren't actually yours. I think this video is a little long at this point. I'm gonna look. I've got one minute. Um, so, um, I'll talk some more on that. And but there's there's certain things that people need to understand. Those people that are actually usually masturbating or doing other stuff like that, it's actually not something that they really actually want to do. It's an addiction. And when you actually look and you actually find the real reason, you'll realize that it came from a hurt, an actual pain. And when you actually find that, you'll actually hate it because you'll know what it really actually signifies. I'm going to change this video.